So Ronan, looking at, before we look forward to the final um, on, on Sunday week, maybe we'll recap. How's the bodies? What's it been like after the semi-final? Yeah, we had a tough three weeks. We had three big games in a row there, week after week. Um, so we got a couple of wee niggles and injuries, but nothing too serious, luckily enough. Um, we had a lot of injuries early on in the season. Um, but as the season went on, they kind of cleared up. But um, yeah, the, those three weeks, I think especially the, the Dunno game, there was a lot of boys struggling after that game. I suppose a big derby match, but you yeah. wouldn't expect much less. But since then, it hasn't been, it's been okay. Yeah, And it's all about timing, isn't it? Well, Mickey Hart just to talk about timing and championship football in Tyrone. It's very much that way for Gidor because it seems to be coming together for you at the right time now. Yeah, it was very hard for us in the league. We started off well, we had everyone about, and then a lot of boys went travelling and away for the summer. And as I said, kind of injuries and stuff as well. And that, but all that has cleared up, and boys have settled themselves again now. And come August, there we started championship prep. Everyone was around. Um, we have a lot of boys away from home um, in Dublin, especially. So uh, July, August, we had most of them around. So that was great to get started then on the championship prep. Yeah. Was the final a target at the start of the year for you? By no means. Um, yeah. First year in, our, our target was just to um, settle into the job and set out what we wanted to do and our new our way of playing and all that and maybe look more towards next year. We would have been happy with a quarter final or a semi final this year. But I suppose the draw was kind to us. We managed to avoid um, Neve Connellan's and Unions um, early in the championship, especially in the knockout games. You, you were looking to avoid them, so luckily it, it went our way that way. So we find ourselves in the final now. Yeah, and I know in some of those games that the performance wasn't at the level that you that you were hoping for, but you, you were able to grind it out to make it the whole way to the final. Certainly not. I think McCool's in the first game and Mark Allen, we played very well that day for large spells, yeah. and then up in Arua they beat us. Mm. Um, we weren't happy with, with that performance. Then Clonelli at home and then Dunlow away, two big derby matches. The Clonelli game we played okay, but then after that the performance definitely dipped in the two, two Dunlow games. Now in fairness, Dunlow made it hard for us. They really um, battened down the hatches and made it hard for us to get through and it was a 1.1 in both games. And uh, Oren, talking about the game and looking forward to the game on, on Sunday week, um, what sort of performance, what level do you need to get to? If you are going to make this a really, really competitive tie and even go one further and get that cup? Yeah, well, everyone knows what Neve Connell will bring. They've been doing it for seven years now in a row in finals. And to, to beat Neve Connell, you really need to, everything needs to go your way. Maybe they need to have a slight off day as well. If you look, even Gidor last year against Neve Connell in the semi final, they had plenty of the ball but didn't take their chances. It was taking your chances is key in any game, but especially against Neve Connell, who put a lot of pressure on your chances when you when you get when you get them so you have to make the right decisions on that um, but we know it's going to be very big ass for us like as I said we were happy to get that quarter or semi so I suppose now it's just a free shot for us in the final yeah, no one, anything, can, anything can happen on a final it's, in a one off day I suppose yeah. anything can happen um, Gidor I played in two finals myself with Gidor against Unions and we were major underdogs in both those games and luckily came out on the right side. So anything can happen in a one-off day, but a lot of things have to go our way. Yeah. Is there a, a frustration within the group, particularly those players that were involved in 2019 and with the supporters and those involved in the club of that trilogy with Neve Connell that you, that you just never got over the line on, on that occasion? Yeah, I think 18 obviously was a, mm. the major achievement won in Ulster. Like, um, in 19 then, maybe it was expected to push on with that Losing that third game was a major setback, I suppose. Maybe a lot of boys maybe just lost a bit of heart. And after that, maybe they were expecting to win a few finals because the, the age profile of the team was very good at the time. Um, so it probably was a setback for the club. And it's taken, what, four years to get back to that to that um, final again. Um, um, it, maybe it could be another trilogy, but hopefully yeah. not. Hopefully not. You hope you get it done and dusted in one game uh, this, this time around. And But listen, for the club itself to be where it's at now going into the final, it's, it's uh, certainly left of things in the parish, I'm sure. Both teams are in the final, the senior yeah. and reserve. It's massive. And in fairness, since we started training back in February, um, the numbers of training have been unbelievable. Even though we have so many players away, the boys just coming down, coming down, training, coming down, training. And we're able to play good matches uh, uh, at training with the numbers we have. So it's a, it's a credit to all the young lads in the Paris to come in, coming down to training. So um, it, we won the under-21 last year as well. So there's obviously quality players coming through and Ghidorah have been competing at 
all underage age groups for the last number of years. So the the conveyor belt is in full flow. Yeah, and uh, Championship One would certainly add to that conveyor belt and and make things maybe going easier going forward. But listen, uh, thanks for joining us, Ronan, uh, and we wish you the best of luck on the final. Thanks very much.